and I'm gonna show you how to do it in the middle of a crisis. Ain't no stop it here, I promise, and I promise. Hi friends! I need to update y'all on many things, but first of all, I want to report directly about this Texas storm because we're in the middle of it. Um, thankfully, I think we're actually kind of at the end of it, especially for like Austinites. I know that our power was restored a little bit, but the water situation is iffy. We also still have to boil our water and supplies are limited. So I'm going to show you how to survive during times like this. Really, I'm just going to document my experience. But I decided to make a video again because one of my best friends from elementary school, middle school, high school texted me and she was like, I've been watching your YouTube videos and it made me feel like I was able to see you and they're so cute and you have to keep making them. And I was like, ah, Justine, okay, hi. Wow, so that was really nice. And I decided that I just need to give the people what they want, you know. But I love Justine. I remember she taught me what weed smelled like. I never knew before that. That was a monumental moment. <laughs> My favorite grocery store is opening today a little late, but I'm gonna go and stand in line for when they open. The dump truck is outside making noise, just ignore. But I'm so happy they're picking up our trash because it was very overflowed. And that means trucks are probably driving. Ah, great news. I'm gonna go to the store and I'm gonna show y'all, even when there are very limited options, what you can get when you're vegan and gluten-free. I personally feel like I understood now that I can't eat gluten, like I really can't. Yesterday I had a vegan burger because my favorite food truck was open, so me and my roommates went. But like their actual burger isn't gluten free, but I just got gluten free bun, so like it didn't save me on all of it. And I woke up this morning and I was like twice as puffy. And I get psoriasis, so your girl has like a little spot there. It's not cute. But I'm just going to show you how easy it is because literally I went to the gas station and got food for myself for like three days and I feel like people are always talking about how being vegan is like the hardest thing in the world and I'm going to show you how to do it in the middle of a crisis. Just one second. I literally haven't had fresh produce in like six days. <sighs> just a little stressed, you know? I just shared something on my story and it's Alana from um, Broad City and it's like when someone asks her how she is and it's like Texans right now and someone's like how am I like don't fucking ask me how I am right now like it's not going well your girl has psoriasis bye hello I am back from the store um, so I'm gonna run through what I got uh, welcome to this is like my living room area the kitchen's a little disastrous because I haven't really been doing dishes because I don't want to use my dishwasher and use up like all that extra water and power and the drip coming out of my faucet is like uncomfortably slow so it's not happening but you know welcome to my living room here's my beautiful silver man my friend put him on okay so we have like a dumpster outside of our house and people always like come from far and wide to dump their trash there I don't know why but there's some good shit and people always put the good shit like on the side so that you don't have to like dumpster dive in to get it which I'm always thankful for and someone found this and put it on my friend Katie's um one of my best neighbor friends is also named Katie, put it on Katie's doorstep and I was like, I need that. And she's like, okay, well, I don't want it. Like it was a joke. And I was like, I need that. <laughs> so I have him in here. I put Jaya, my friend made me a cute necklace. I put that on him. It suits him really well. So, um, you know, we're just enjoying the living space. Also, it makes me feel like I am not living alone, which I like living alone, but like, you know, company's great. And he has a really good butt, so it's just like inspiring. <laughs> also, my H jacket, does anyone remember H Collective? H Influencer Collective, as they were first called. I used to work there in New York when it was like a marketing agency and now it's like pretty much operating online, but <laughs> let me know if you know of them. I rep it way too often, like I wear that jacket all the time. Love them though. Shout out Shannon, James, all my homies, love you. But I wanted to run through what I got at the store, so I'm going to kind of go over what I picked up and then also how I make them into meals and things. So what I mostly do is I'll pick like a few vegetables and use it in different dishes throughout the week so that I don't have to get like a big range of ingredients for each meal. And usually I'll do a pasta, I'll do salads during the day with all the vegetables, 
sometimes like a bowl at night um, or like tacos a lot and sometimes I'll just like eat them raw and just kind of like throw together a meal with random things. So first I will start with the greens. I got some celery because I love making celery juice in the mornings. I think it's really good for you. We got to do it. So I got this and then with celery juice I always like to juice a little lemon too. So I got some lemons. I got a bushel of kale because they didn't have any other types of lettuce so this was the only option and I'll make some salads and stuff with it. Plus I always like love being that bitch that picks up the kale and is like, I'm just getting the kale, you know. Um, I got some zucchini. Zucchini is a great thing to eat before your meals. It's good to eat something light and nutritious that will kind of fill you up so that you're not eating a lot when it comes to your actual meal. So this is a good way to do it. I like to steam this in the Instant Pot for like one minute and it's a great little pre-snack. Next we got some broccoli and some cauliflower. I made this whole thing on my Instagram and I was like, I don't fuck with single use plastic. Like I don't use the grocery store bags. I, I never use like produce bags, but like stuff like this, I'm like, I'm such a hypocrite. It's fine. I got some carrots, some more single use plastic. And I got some dressing. I usually don't really use dressings like this. I'll make my own or use kind of like a hummus as a dressing. But it's tough times, you know. I got some fucking balsamic vinegar, so gonna see how that goes. For pasta, they didn't have many sauce options. So the only one that I could find was a vegan Alfredo sauce, which is also kind of not super healthy. But, like, this one definitely has a lot of oil in it, which I try to avoid. But, you know... Whatever. And then for the actual pasta, I got two options, you know. I got a rotini. I always get gluten-free pasta. This one's corn, brown rice, and quinoa. And then I also got black bean spaghetti because it sounded like gothic, you know. And in the mornings, I eat oatmeal. So I like to make it sweeter and throw in some superfoods. I got medjool dates. If you haven't had a medjool date yet with a little bit of peanut butter and like some cinnamon and some sea salt on top, like you really haven't lived. So please do that and get back to me. I've had like multiple people mention that like that suggestion has completely changed their life. So just letting you know. And then I also got goji berries and those are just good to add to like fucking anything. And then I wanted to get some fruit to get some antioxidants in my life. I got some blackberries, and then I needed some vitamin C because I feel like it's just rough out here, you know? I also got a tomato, and then lemons, and I always get a red onion. Basically, like, anytime there's an onion needed, I like to get a red onion because it's just the best one, and they're good raw. I got some beans. I got um, Great Northern Beans and Kidney Beans. My favorite two kinds are usually Black Beans and Garbanzo um, Chickpeas, but they're out. And my favorite way to prepare beans is cook them on the stove, just basically put the whole can in, rinse it obviously, and then add in like a tablespoon of apple cider vinegar with a little salt and kind of like mash them down as you go. And it's just like the perfect flavor profile. Ah, can't wait to do it. Obviously I got wine because do I even have to explain? <laughs> and then I was out of quinoa so I got quinoa in some plastic. <laughs> I always like to get a little treat at the store but I don't like to go crazy so I got a macro bar. This is my favorite flavor, the chocolate chip. What is it? Peanut butter chocolate chip. And if you microwave this for like 12 seconds and then eat it, it's actually a fucking treat. That is all. Um, I already had tortillas, so I'm going to be making tacos with those. I had some salsa and hot sauce. And other than that, that's basically all I'm going to eat for the next week. Um, I had oatmeal as well, so that. And then I got granola at Target this morning, don't forget. <laughs> and... Yeah, if you have any questions, let me know, and maybe one day I'll talk about, like, actually making some meals, but I'm literally the laziest vegan, and I don't like anything that actually involves, like, a recipe or cooking longer than 15 minutes, so 
welcome to how you do that it's really simple also please get an instant pot and then we can make it work <laughs> i don't know how to like give any advice to people who don't have an instant pot it's like really confusing that people just cook on the stove all the time i don't know what do you do <laughs> anyway going a little crazy i'm also supposed to be working i got a new job i am doing sales and marketing at a clothing company called magnolia pearl and I used to model for them before when I lived in Austin and so I've been working with them now for like four years and they're just some of the sweetest most genuine beautiful people the owners are basically vegan which you know I feel like is what drew me to them and I think they just are great and they believe in me and I love the clothes so let me know if you're interested in them <laughs> or if you just want to check it out follow me it's Magnolia Pearl Clothing is the Instagram I run so yeah it's been fun. I feel better now after, you know, talking a little because all I do is sit inside. All right, friends, I'm going to put this in the fridge and get back to work. Maybe take a shower. I promise. I promise.